Hello, my name is Betty Fisher. I am an RN specialist in the Department of Radiology with a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing as well as a certification as a Breast Health Navigator. I have found that the role of nursing in MRI guided breast procedures requires addressing both the art and the science of breast health care, which will hopefully result in redefining the patient's experience. In this brief segment, we will try to provide an overview of the role of nursing care in MRI guided breast interventional procedures. We will touch on some of the services which can be provided, pre-procedure communications, patient assessment, team coordination, as well as regulatory requirements. We will hope that this will serve to help you establish or maybe just review procedures which you may already have established. Nursing plays a critical role in breast intervention by providing professional guidance in the coordination, execution, and evaluation of the healthcare treatment plan, beginning with the initial patient contact through to the post-biopsy follow-up. The nurse plays a central role in assuring that the patient is well informed and comfortable before, during, and after the procedure. This is always a very anxious time for the patient, a time when they will need support and guidance. Nursing services can also provide valuable links to wellness programs or other support programs in your institution, which may be of benefit to the patient. Prior to the scheduled procedure date, the patient will need to be contacted by the nurse. For the initial assessment, addressing initial questions and to provide assurance. Medications. Evaluate what medications a patient is taking. Obviously, any blood thinners will need to be discontinued and will require working in conjunction with the patient's primary physician. Platelet inhibitors such as aspirin and ibuprofen should be stopped for seven days to prevent excessive bleeding. Some high dose vitamins such as vitamin E can also increase bleeding. Multivitamins are not a problem. Evaluate if there are any physical limitations which may affect patient positioning or tolerance of the biopsy procedure. These will have usually been discussed at the time of the initial diagnostic MRI exam. Evaluate the patient's anxiety level over the procedure. Any claustrophobia? Should a recommendation be made for an anti-anxiety medication prior to the procedure? Inquire into any drug allergies, particularly for local anesthesia agents such as Novocaine or Lidocaine. Also assure no allergy to topical iodine. Provide an overview to the patient of the procedure. Tell them that like their initial diagnostic exam, they will be lying face down for the procedure. Their breast will be cleansed with an iodine solution and there will be a moderate compression of breast between two plates. Nothing as tight as with a mammogram. They will usually require an IV and contrast injection for the exam just as they had for their diagnostic study. They will not be in the MRI machine as long as they were for their diagnostic exam, but rather will be going in for short periods of time and then coming back out. The procedure itself should take between 30 and 45 minutes to complete. Assure them that their breast tissue will be numbed and that they should expect no more than mild discomfort with the procedure. After the biopsy is performed, a 1 8 inch metal marker will be left to mark the biopsy site and they will then usually have a mammogram performed to confirm positioning of this marker. Assure them that the procedure will be reviewed again on the day of the biopsy. Inform the patient that this is not a very risky procedure. There is risks of bleeding at the time of the biopsy or following the procedure. Bruising of the breast after the biopsy is not uncommon. Post-procedure infection is a possible complication and there is always a risk of adverse reaction to the contrast agent injected, which will be the same contrast used in their initial MRI exam. The patient should have a light breakfast or lunch on the day of the procedure and they should have nothing by mouth for two hours prior to the appointment. They should wear a comfortable clothing, preferably a two-piece outfit to simplify undressing. A brassiere must be worn. 
they should plan to spend approximately three hours at their procedure. Address any questions that remain. Do not rush the patient. Have them come to the procedure as relaxed as possible. Assure them that further instructions and questions will be addressed in person on the day of the procedure. After greeting the patient and family members, take them into the interview room and initially put them at ease. Ask if they are doing okay and briefly explain the day. This must be performed by an appropriately credentialed professional. Having completed the h &P, confer with the physician performing the procedure. Facilitate the patient-physician meeting. Here the patient imaging studies should be reviewed in order to assure that the patient understands what has led to the recommendation for the procedure. The procedure risks, benefits, and alternatives to the procedure should be discussed. Any final questions should be answered at this time. Have the patient review and sign the informed consent. Confirm with the patient and with the physician the correct laterality of the abnormality. As understood by the patient and as indicated by the imaging studies. There are four requirements mandated by JCO in the performance of a breast interventional procedure. The first is history and physical. Next, the patient-physician meeting. Informed consent is required. And lastly, a timeout site verification. These are requirements established by the Joint Accreditation Committee of Hospital Organizations. Please also assure compliance with additional guidelines which may have been established by your facility. In conclusion, nursing responsibilities include identifying and addressing a patient's needs to provide as stress-free of an experience as possible. Additionally, nursing plays a central role in the organization, implementation, and outcomes management and documentation of each procedure. Thank you.